What's going on guys, Jordan here. Back with another video. Farm vlog again. It is the next day after the last video. So if you remember in the last video, which probably came out late in the week last week, we are preparing the 9760 for soybean harvest, getting the header work done, a couple things to do yet on that, which aren't what I'm doing today. Today is going to be all out in the 8870. We control again using our new disc and the 8870 tractor. I'm headed up to a field on the north side of our land and I'm gonna go hit that with the disc and uh, maybe get it done, maybe not quite. I think it's kind of a big one. Three or four hours of field work tonight. And uh, yeah, that's how the video is gonna be starting. Can't say for sure, but this video might contain the first little bit of soybean harvest. We'll see, I'll keep you updated. But for now, we're gonna go disking. Turn the market for a new Ford truck. finish the field it's like 7 30 7 45 and we're done so gonna head home with 8870 get it by the fuel tank and uh call her a day ready for dinner piper All right, everybody, a couple days later, once again, this video going off over a few days here in the farmyard and uh, getting ready to set up this Brant auger to this big bin because we're combining soybeans. It's happening. We tested it out yesterday and there's a little bit of leaves and some green spots here and there in uh, the fields, but apparently my dad found enough that's dry so he's combining right now in the 9760 yesterday he tested it out we checked fields and i worked on the 9610 a little bit greased it and right now i'm going to unload what we did last night into the bin and then i'm on truck duty switching some tandem trucks as he combines a little bit of soybeans tonight only a few hours of combining tonight probably so not a huge marathon day of harvest but uh soybean harvest nonetheless don't want to waste too much time. He needs a truck. Let's get going. All right, let's see how I did lining this up. Not too bad.
truck is unloaded. It tested moisture at 11.1%, which is really good. Everett and me, Sarah too, we're gonna go switch out this truck for the blue one and come back and unload that. unloading now did a little switcheroo over the soybean field I think it was coming along pretty well he got some big patches hopefully dry like that green truck earlier I'll test this one as well I had to move the auger hopper because it was making me pretty nervous where I set it up last time kind of really close to hitting the auger when I was tipping the truck back so moved it around picked a different backup location and I'm good to go let's unload this truck and then probably switch again. Blue trucks unloaded, I think we're ahead of the game. These things unload really, really fast with this auger compared to the semis, of course. And uh, don't think he quite has the green truck filled up yet. So I'm gonna get the water truck started to fill up. Take this sample as well. Here's what we're looking at. If you guys see the soybean crop for this year, got a few little ones like this in there, but nothing alarming. And uh, I know these look pretty good. I, for some reason, love to eat the raw soybeans. Ate so many yesterday, my stomach hurt all evening. I'm not gonna do that today. Make that mistake, everyone will hate me for it. I'm gonna go sample this and we'll see what we're dealing with for this truck. Ten seven, not bad. And uh, again, nice and dry. So as long as we're not getting that leafy stuff, it seems to be very ready, which is great. My dad will be happy to hear that. My dad was happy to get this thing. I thought I'd show you guys this since I'm over here in the shop and kind of waiting for the next truck. A new tire changer for the farm. Now this is something that I am very glad he pulled the trigger on. Many times I heard the frustration from him while I was a kid playing basketball in the driveway of the farmhouse of changing tires on our old school tire changer enough tires go flat and pop here on the farm this thing will get a lot of use and it'll be great just to be able to operate it with the air and foot pedals nice professional tire changer so pretty cool addition to the shop here on stoltz farm okay just got word last switcheroo of the day gonna take this blue truck that i just emptied a little bit ago and uh, take it out to the field get the green tandem truck unload that into this bin call it a night Finding little spots here and there, and uh, the soybean dust is getting to me. I need to stop standing in there for videos, content sake. But uh, let's go do this last little switch, unloader, and head home. Come on. Good dog. Want to come? Come on. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. There you go. We got both girls! Everybody, that'll do it for another video last truck of the day is unloaded 2640 shut off 
9760 still going out in the field, but probably not for much longer. It's about 7 p.m. right now, Friday night. We're about to shut her down for the evening. You can't really combine soybeans much past sundown, and there's not that much dry spots anyways, I don't think. So that'll be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, supporting the channel, subscribing, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, I want you guys to take it easy.